ashver.com. Hello and welcome to ashver.com. You are watching an interesting and informative video on effects of anesthesia on the heart, anatomy and physiology basics. Please read the disclaimer carefully. Anesthesia affects heart function. Different types of anesthesia affect the heart in different ways. As a board certified anesthesiologist, I see these effects each and every day on healthy and sick hearts. Anticipating and understanding these issues is important to successful delivery delivery of anesthesia. In most cases, and with most anesthesia regimens, the overall effect will be to depress heart function. The physiology of the heart is complex, as is the pharmacology of anesthetic medications. This means that sometimes, the effects will be unpredictable and there will always be exceptions to every rule. Note, anesthesia here will refer to general anesthesia, where unconsciousness is achieved and maintained during surgery. The Heart, Anatomy and Physiology Basics The heart is often referred to as a four-chamber pump. Blood returns from the body to the right side of the heart. It then goes to the lungs to get filled with oxygen. The oxygenated blood then flows to the left side of the heart to be pumped a heart to be pumped out to the body to deliver that oxygen. In order to be an effective pump, the heart functions through an intricate and ordered interplay of electric signals, muscle contractions and one-way valves. The self-generated electrical signals send a wave of current down special conducting fine fibers in a specific pattern. This triggers certain parts of the heart muscle to contract in an ordered manner. This wave of contractions squeezes blood out of each ventricle, large pumping chamber through valves that open and allows blood to return to the atria, collecting chambers. The strength of contraction ensures that most of the blood in the chamber is out with each heartbeat. Any disruption in this pattern can affect heart function. Anesthesia can interrupt this pathway in several different ways. In discussing the cardiac implications of anesthesia medicines, usually, we either have a drug and wonder about its effects on the heart, or we have specific effect and want to know which drugs can cause it. Both approaches are presented below to make the information easier to find. Only the most typical examples of the most common anesthesia drugs are presented as a thorough discussion would require textbook length. Cardiac Effects of Common Anesthetic Agents the table below gives examples of some common individual anesthetic agents and their heart effects. Keep in mind that for each effect, there is likely a study or two that disputes the findings. The data here are consistent with the current with the current edition of the authoritative text, Miller's Anesthesia, 7 ed. 2009. The conflicting conclusions show how complex these interactions are, and how the education and experience of the anesthesia provider helps keep us safe during anesthetics. Propofol, etamidate and pentothal are induction agents used to get patients to sleep. Ketamine is a unique drug that may be used for sedation, as well as induction and maintenance of anesthesia. Fentanyl and morphine are pain medicines used before during and after surgery. Succinylcholine is a muscle relaxant that makes placement of the breathing tube and surgery easier to achieve. Halothin, isoflurin and sevoflurin are anesthesia gases used to keep patients asleep for surgery, delivered through a breathing tube. Few examples anesthetic agents. overall effect of general anesthesia on heart function. There are many cardiac parameters to consider when giving an anesthetic. Most commonly, we may be concerned about the effect of anesthesia on heart rate, heart rhythm and the strength of pumping action of the heart, contractility. The described effects are very broad generalizations, only. In reality, 
multiple agents in combination are used for each anesthetic on a patient, so it is often difficult to predict or know which drug is causing the predominant effect. In addition, anesthesiologists can use medications in varying amounts, dosages and combinations to achieve, or prevent, a certain effect on the Anesthesia effects on heart rate A human's resting heart rate is determined by numerous and complex factors. Any stress on the body will usually cause an increase in heart rate, and this can include surgery and anesthesia. Induction agents tend to allow increased heart rate and rate in low doses and slowed heart rate in higher doses. Narcotic pain medicines tend to slow heart rate, except for meparidine which increases heart rate. Succinylcholine will decrease heart rate. This can actually be dangerous in certain situations and must be monitored closely in those at risk. Anesthesia gases have variable effects influenced by many factors. Anesthesia and heart rhythm Many anesthetic agents have the potential to cause irregular heart rhythms. Patients with pre-existing arrhythmias and abnormal blood electrolytes, calcium, magnesium, potassium, are most at risk. In addition, a patient's medications influence the potential for arrhythmias, as well. Anesthesia effects on contractility Overall, general anesthesia at levels high enough to maintain unconsciousness, will decrease the strength of contraction. Individual medications have variable effects as seen in the above table. Thank you for watching this interesting and informative video. This channel offers motivational, inspirational, valuable and informative videos to soothe, cleanse and inspire your health, mind, body and spirit. You can find lot of interesting videos on wide range of topics here, stay tuned and keep watching.